Hi, this is Yasleen Elise with Century 21 Connect Realty. Today's little fireside chat is going to talk about the home buying process and its frustration, its highs and its lows, and why you just can't quit. We all go into the buying process basically with false expectation. There are a lot of home TV shows right now, and those things are scripted. So please, Use a big grain of salt with those when you watch them. I've worked with several couples who've had to go through several contracts before they actually got their home that they really wanted. The key is you can't get frustrated and you can't quit. That's just the bottom line. It is not going to be you go in, write a contract, get the house. That does happen sometimes, but that is the exception, not the norm. Right now, we are not in a buyer's market. Let me repeat, we are not in a buyer's market. We are in a seller's market, which means they control the cards. Properties come on the market and go off the market often in the same day. As I've said before in other videos, you have got to make your first offer count because you may not get a second chance. So make sure that you're offering more than enough earnest money. Make sure that you have a loan approval letter, not a pre-approval. The loan commitment letter will say, we have already looked at pay stubs, tax returns, and verified employment. This person can close this loan. Three, make sure you have adequate monies to cover the costs associated with buying a home. Number one, earnest money. You need to put up a minimum of 1,500 earnest money. Number two, make sure you have enough for your down payment. If you are not receiving down payment assistance, you're looking at about three and a half percent of the purchase price. And the same thing goes for closing costs. Once upon a time, it was reasonable and customary to get all your closing costs paid in a, in a loan. That's rare now. That's very rare, especially if you're looking to purchase under 200,000. Investors have come into our market now and they are picking those properties up all cash. So when your offer is not accepted, please, please, please don't quit. Keep going. Keep going. The race is not given to the swift with the one who endures. Now, not last but least, if you want to hold one of these this year, or have one of these with me, don't quit. I promise you, you will be kicking yourself in 30 days because you'll see a house and you're like, you know what? We really hate it here. <laughs> we want to move so bad and we gave up because we were tired of looking at houses. It's hot. Yeah, that's all a part of buying a house. It's not going to be a fully air-conditioned experience. You got to want it, and you got to want it bad. So help me help you stay in the race. Stay focused on the goal. You want to be in a house. You want to be in a house now. That's all for now. Just a little buying tip, just a little chat today, just to keep you encouraged. Don't give up. The best is yet to come. I see you tomorrow.